I think exchanges are a way of putting ourselves out of our comfort zone. Uh, they let us know, um, get to know better other health systems, um, other cultures, other ways of practicing family medicine. Uh, they let you get to know new people, new colleagues. I think that the only fact of traveling and taking contact with other contemporary realities give us a lot of perspective. And the exchange means the possibility to expand my view helps us uh, to be more prepared to, uh, for clinical practice in different uh, environments uh, we live in every day, which in my case uh, at an early stage of career becomes very important to helping me to grow as medical and uh, most of all as a person. I think that after the change in a country with a socioeconomic context so different to mine, I could recognize better the limitations, virtues, and weakness of my own primary healthcare system. I consider sometimes uh, family medicine uh, is an art. I think we are artists. We of course know a lot of science, but as well we have to have some skills to get to the patient. Uh, we learned that art from our senior colleagues and as well uh, from our culture. If we get out, we have a wider perspective of how to practice. The changes will, will change your, your life, your, your point of view. It's not only because you will feel more relieved uh, comparing your own situation, your personal daily work with all the colleagues who are dealing with the same problems, with the same patients, with the same bureaucracy. But this uh, going out of your comfortable zone, uh, facing other problems, facing other point of view, other realities, will open your mind and also will bring you new ideas, will help you to be more innovative. Bringing you new ideas is like a continuous brainstorming. It's a, it's a way of growing up and being more mature, learning from everybody, uh, people, surrounding, environment, patients. Uh, the most interesting thing I've learned on an exchange. Well, in Brazil, I participated on an activity for patients uh, performed by a psychologist who was as well a dance teacher. And it was called the Circle Dance. Uh, it was for, mainly for patients with neurological problems and with some depression and anxiety as well. Uh, and it consisted on dancing on a circle, different dances from all over the world with some special messages. Uh, I learned that regardless uh, of uh, the country and the population I work with, uh, the family doctor is always a reference. And um, several things surprised me. Uh, one of them was how I learned with my bad English and without allowed clinical practice. And the last one was to know that people in UK, as in Uruguay, have the same reason to ask for GP care and the same kind of suffering as a human condition. The most surprising thing that happened to me with the changes was the addiction. Uh, I started doing a change and I cannot stop doing them. Uh, and for sure the best thing that ever happened is that I found the love of my life. Thank you! <laughs>